Hey guys! So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some art of um of SSO horses, or in this case, the Jarvik Frisian, which is basically a rip off of the actual Frisian. That is fixed to look more like a Frisian, but different. Um, and it's gonna be wild cart horses. Now the first one you're seeing is like a special event kind of kind of tack stuff so that's why it's all braided up in the hair and <laughs> want to spend a lot of time doing all of them like that so they want to kind of just like normal-ish ones but anyways if you're hearing the sounds in the background that sound like looking at stuff that would happen to when be my dog wicked and then we have aspen next to me so yeah watching the dogs in the video <laughs> nice Okay, I'll just start. I was struggling for a while with the tail. Very decorative one. Yeah. Airplane. There's actually, I only have four uh, of these. So I only have four of the Frisian colors. The white. And it kind of modified the colors. But I do have an extra one that I will be showing you guys. I love an extra, extra. So yeah. This took me around like three hours, maybe. I did it on Procreate and stuff. An interesting technique that I use for making fades, like the blending effect, instead of using the actual blending tool in Procreate, I use like the range of the two colors, blend it. And then I use selected colors that go from lightest to darkest or darkest to lightest. And now here comes the harness. I did use a reference photo for the first one. But eventually after that I kind of memorized the look so I didn't really need it. And they kind of have different styles of how they're made. Of course I'm not going to look the same. Like this one kind of had the things a bit far back. As you can see, like, the back strap is a bit far back, whereas in the other ones it's a bit more forward. I try my best to make everything even. And we had the logo here. Hmm. Not bridal, it was thick. Two Ks. Putting in color. I tried to make it a different, like a range of different colors for the harnesses, so they were all unique. I was still refining my technique. Oh yeah, you like that chunky, you like the scratches, the boy scratches. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna move? I don't get what I did with the hair there. That is not so good. Okay, I gotta find this. <sighs> looky, looky. Oh, here it is. There we go. We have the next one. You can actually see that I named the, the file after the horse name. So yeah, this is Phantom Dreamer, and the other one was Hazel Wish. <laughs> I'm scratching against the butt of the woman. <laughs> you get legs, butt scratches. <laughs> You're a big chonky dog. You're a small but chonky chonk. Chonky chonk. Mm, boop. 
<laughs> You're a very itchy boy. I don't know if I did this very good, but if you're wondering why her hair is kind of like red, by the way, that is because of like some hair dye that they put in there, in her hair, or like chalk, like animal safe of course, that just colored it, said it was red, and they used dude when she is, so yeah. Oh, I've got to get in there with your butt scratches, huh? <laughs> Truly, I don't know why I used gray for the male parts of the harness. Also, as you can see, the difference between the other ones and this one is in this one. I only colored the inside parts and the stuff is still black. And then we have one of my favorite Frisians, as well as my only max level Frisian, Wolf Echo. He was also the one that took the longest to draw. To a total of like, I don't get how, for some reason it took less time than Hazel Wish. Hey, you probably have like fleas or something chunky because you are so itchy. As you can see, I can actually, I actually hid the logo right there, or right here, rather. Oh, there. Let me see. Little groaning, huh? You want to say hello to the people, Aspen? <laughs> we need to get you a butt rake. Huh, <laughs> doggy? We need a butt rake for your butt, so you can itch it. I'm very itchy butt chunky. Huh? You little chunky? Wicket is actually named after like an Ewok from like Star Wars or something. Like those little fluffy guys. Because at first he looked like them. But then once we shaved him we realized he looks more like like kind of like a Siamese. He's kind of like a sandy like a pale kind of sand color. And then he has like some blackish brown on his ears and tail and face. And then Aspen kind of looks like a Palomino chestnut kind of horse. That's kind of how she looks. <laughs> Don't know why I called her Aspen. <laughs> Probably just looked it up on um, popular dog names and got it. <laughs> Itchy head. Right, Tony. I'm giving you scratches. Okay, why are you, why is your butt so itchy? Is the better question. <laughs> okay, now and lastly, Green Danger, the famous club color. Actually, this is the fastest one I did out of all these besides the last special one. Bye, butt scratches, huh, oh, Chunky? Oh, stretch. Stretch, big stretch. I gave them the badger face and a star because I like it the way that looks. This is kind of cool. I'm pretty sure it's called a badger face. Also, they kind of have done markings as well as Wolf Echo. He does have something like that. Yeah, it's like a darker spine color. And I tried my best to do the detail on the hooves that it looked like. 
It was kind of stripey. That would be too complicated. I think out of all of these, I think my favorite would either be this one or Wolf Echo. Oh, I decided to make it kind of like a pale leather and gold one. Kind of like you see in the references of like the really fancy Windsor carriage. There we go. And now the special edition, this untitled one, which happens to be one of my other OCs, like some of their outfit. It's like really fast. It only took me like 20 something minutes. But here is, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if this, I'm pronouncing this right, but it's the German word for feather. I'm pretty sure it's feather. Or feather. Feather. I don't know. I'm sorry if I butchered that. But that is what she, this is what her clothes look like. She is based off of NAF, if you're wondering. <laughs> That's why she's got the tail and stuff. She's based off of sun drop and moon drop. So yeah. She's kind of like a caretaker along with two other robots. But the thing is, they weren't made by like the Fazbear Entertainment thing. They were made by Ruby. She just took inspiration. Ruby is a smart girl. <laughs> Huh? Smart girl. Well, I think that is enough for today. I hope to see you next week. You can follow along. I may post another video later today after I finish um, writing. Um, the tenth chapter of Life on the Wild Side. <laughs> Anyways, goodbye. Bye from Aspen, and bye from Wicket, and bye from me. Mwah. See ya!